My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. We've been laying low for several days now. After killing Elaine Mead. Come back to this museum of the Maroons Dagon. Silas, of course, has been dispatched. It's a nice hideout. Also decided to wear the Dark Brotherhood clothing, although it is a bit tight for my tastes. And the captain we have finally outfitted in a full set of armor. All right, I am absolutely starved for blood. And I need to feed. Let me just look here. After several days, we've laid low. Nothing has happened. Now, I did encounter a courier and left me this letter of inheritance. For Nilda, dead. She was one of my followers in Rollinwood. I hadn't realized something happened. All right, we can get rid of this letter as well. Note from a stranger, we've already talked to him. can drop the settlement note as well. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do next. Perhaps it's time to follow the Night Mother's quest. All right, let's see where this person is located. Hmm. All right, to, to Windhelm it is. No, my hunger. There must be someone around here I can feed on. that noble woman. Alright, well that did and didn't work out. Somehow I teleported. Captain. 
teleported, but I'm still hungry. Ah, oh, here's the man. <clears throat> All right, that will have to do. Let's see what's going on inside Candlehearth Hall. Come on. Just stoke the fire, take a seat, and our get the cold hero, out. Our hero, paint the warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell I still you can't believe Isabella's gone. Comes. She was such a helpful young lass. Need something? You're the one from the, the Dark Brotherhood. The man I need killed is a seasoned hunter. He's just outside Folk Creek. Here's the gold. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> If anybody asks, this meeting never took place. Has passed, and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know the dragon. All right, Captain, comes. let's go. Hmm? Can I help you? Yes, follow me. Ah, no more. Don't hurt me again. <laughs> All right, this way. Wait, he's right here. That was it. All right, I have a feeling we haven't laid low long enough and killing that man probably didn't help. Now let's see what the Night Mother has to say. Cicero. In all the hard to reach places. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with a grief stricken chef at the Wind Peak Inn here in Dawnstar. Accept his gold, then yep. eliminate the dark. Yes, mother. All right, let's go. Let me know if you want any. Think I got a clean mug around here. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. Good, you're here. 
Look, in Iberstead, there's this beautiful barbarian. I need her dead. <laughs> Don't ask why, just do it. It's gold to go. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. A beautiful barbarian that he wants dead. No, that doesn't make any sense. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? If you change your mind, I'll be here. Yes. Maybe one day I will. All right, here we are, Captain. And uh oh, look out! These bears are a serious problem around here. <laughs> Good work. So many people have been destroyed by those creatures in this one city. Wait, now what? Is it another bear? It is. All right, he's dead. Has anyone else been killed? Those bears are making Miss Temba so angry. I hope you can do something about them. All right. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? I'm not exactly here for the bear. Let's go around this way. Okay, where is this person? Inside the home. Oh no, look. Ah, oh, beautiful barbarian, I see. This might be a little bit difficult. I don't know, Captain. Distracting the person might not be enough. There are too many people around. Need something? It's like every direction I look, there's someone. Too close. No, I've been detected. And now they've gone invisible. this would work. Maybe the next time they stick their head out. No.
to wait for them to come out. This would have been easy if this home wasn't here. Ah, of course. I thought the guard was going to go inside. clear. Good work, Captain. I see that enchantment is a decortic decortication, I believe it's called. Remove the armor off of that woman. Excellent. All right, well, I think we're just going to go back to the Dawnstar Sanctuary and, and wait. for how long. Speaking with the Night Mother will only give us more work. Well, as it turned out, it looks like I have what I need. I'm not sure if it was one courier or two, but when I was brought the note telling me about Fernilda's death, I think I was also presented with a blackened note. Let's take a look. I completely ignored this. Speak with the Night Mother. Come home. All right, it's time to see what's going on. All right, Captain, you can stop playing in the dirt. To think I've been running all over. Captain, are you injured? I'll have someone come and take a look at you. But to think I've been running all over Skyrim, waiting for some sign, and I already had the note I needed. Cicero, are you going to be giving dance lessons to the rest of the Brotherhood? I think you should start some classes. Yet another child. 
Egypt has prayed to their mother. At your service, oh great Speak with the Israel. unemployed laborer at the Frostfruit Inn in Rorik's death. Accept his gold, then kill the target. So begins a contract bound in blood. Cicero is at your service, O oh great and powerful listener. All right, Night Mother, I think I'm supposed to speak with you about another matter. Cicero, please. Cicero, could you come down this way? Listener, yes. you have served this family well. Every day, more and more children pray to their mother. The death of the Emperor has made the name of Sithis feared once again throughout the land. But we are few, too few to answer so many prayers. Our dread father has reached out for you to help these children in their time of need. However, in order to help these children, we must cure our family of its ills. Speak with Babette. Tell her dream stride. She will understand. In the meantime, we must begin to rebuild our numbers. In the past, this would have been the work of a speaker. Now we must be a little more flexible with our organization. At least until our numbers have grown. Listener, you must find new brothers and sisters for us. Speak with me when you have recruited a few members. Very well, Mother. Cicero, it would be kind of you not to speak whilst I'm speaking with Mother. All right, where is Babette? Telling this sanctuary is so labyrinthian. It's hard to find anything. I know she has a room in here somewhere. All right, that's that way. Back to the main hall. Ah, here you are. About to go to bed, I see. <laughs> really? You're going to close your eyes and pretend I'm not here. Babette. You know I can still sell you some potions and such. Or train you in alchemy. Hmm. Let's talk about kidnapping. Craft a poison that will paralyze someone long enough to get them to the shack. Actually, I can do better than that. Bessus and I created this dagger for Astrid. I managed to save it from the fire. It does barely any damage, but it will knock someone out long enough for you to get them to the abandoned shack. Excellent. Give one to Nazir as well. All right. Thank you. Also, I'm told that you know what dream stride means. I do. It will be done, my listener. By the way, Babette, we're recruiting. Any ideas? 
Since Fessus is gone, maybe we should recruit a powerful mage as well? Have you ever heard of Undil the Warlock? Um, actually, I have encountered him several times. I think it was Markarth, I believe. He's an Ultmer mage who lives in Markarth. Yes. He's extremely powerful, but he's not exactly the most balanced individual. <laughs> All right, then, I'll approach him. I'm sorry you're not going back to sleep. Very well, then. Enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, hopefully, oh, now, now I can get a marker as to where Nazir is located. So you must be one of the new recruits. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Fight well. Yes. Alright, I'm going around in circles. I tell you, it's going to take quite some time for me to get used to this place. Alright, Nazir. Let's see. Brighten it up a little bit so I can see you. So many contracts, so little time. Hmm. We need to find initiates. How do you suggest we do that, mister? Well, I am well acquainted with a certain abandoned shack north of Morthal. I'm liking this already. Yes, a kidnapping. Any idea who we are going to grab? They're a pair of Khajiit twins that like to hang out near Whiterun. I've heard of them. Jizakar and Majira, right? They're ruthless. They'll fit right in. And what about you? Do you know anyone? What about that Nord, Agnar Hollowleg? He hangs out in the <laughs> local estate. I've heard rumors that he crushed a man's skull with his bare hands. I've never heard of him. Like all Nords, he is passionate, but not in the way you would expect. Sounds like you've been thinking about this for a while, listener. I have. Will you go gr Grab victims for the shack? Of course. <laughs> All right. Very well, then. <clears throat> hmm, it seems like the captain is badly injured. I'm not sure what happened to him. Look at this. Not sure if I should make you stay here or not. Anyhow, let Can me I help go. You? you need to help yourself. <laughs> All right. The abandoned shack. Let's see. Back on your feet, Captain. Good. Starting to wonder if I even needed anyone to, to attend to me. I've grown so powerful over the months that I've been here in Skyrim. Months, years. Hmm. I've lost track. All right, let's go inside. Well, well. Very interesting. Deja vu. <laughs> ah, that poor woman. The 
was her biggest mistake to bring me here. All right. You there, Jezaka. How can I assist? Hmm? Be still. Where have you taken Khajiit? Are you going to say something? What are you going to do to us? All I'm here to do is make you an offer. Have you heard of the Dark Brotherhood? The assassins who killed the Emperor? Jezakar thinks them to be just a myth. Really? If we're a myth, how are you here? Rumor has it that you two enjoy killing. Show me. Did you bring us here to kill one of them or all of them? That is up to you. I am just here to see your decision and act accordingly. And if we do this, if we kill one of them. Then you will have proven your worth to me and to the Brotherhood. <laughs> hmm? Nobody here now. I didn't even question the captive's captain. Such ruthlessness. What are you thinking? Yes, I agree. Majira. I suppose they were all guilty in their own way. Did we do good? Excellent. Head up to Donstar. Near the main road you'll find a black door. Answer thusly. Innocence, my brother. Yes. having trouble with the door. Must have been a bit nervous. Well, Captain, that went a lot easier than I thought. Let's see now. Is there any blood left in these victims? Yes. Yes, I'll have another. This is going to work out so well for me. A supply of food and blood. And no one will dare question. Necklace of light. Interesting. I don't know, Captain, if you want one of these executioner hoods for your collection. It's time for us to go. All right. 
right, let's see where this Nord hollow leg is located. Near Golden Glow. Oh, it's always enemies. And it says this and there's never any around. from here. Huh? Sheathe your weapons and come quietly. By order of the Yarn, stop right there. Really? What have we done now? I am with the guild. Is this enough to clear my bounty? I can make all your problems with the guards go away, but it will cost you. What do you say? Yes, clear my bounty. Done. Now move along before you get me in trouble. Captain, I can't keep up with all the crimes and murders that I've committed. All right, Shadowmere, let's ride. Captain, I don't think you have a horse. Let's go. All right. Oh, here he is, right here. Now... This could be delicate. Let's see what I'm supposed to do here. Kidnap him. So, to do that, I believe I need a dagger. And I wasn't paying attention when Babette gave it to me. I don't know what it's called. Nightshade. That sounds like it, yes. All right. Who are you? If you don't start talking, I'm going to crush your skull. <laughs> Will you now? I don't know who Agnar is. Come with me, Hollow Leg. I want you to kill someone. It will be fun. And if I refuse? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean this to sound like you had a choice. If you refuse, it will not end well for you. Who are you, anyway? I am Carnabus Rollins. Perhaps you've heard of me. I represent the Dark Brotherhood. We have a prop. The Dark Brotherhood? Yes, like I was saying, we. You're the people who killed the Emperor. <laughs> Between his death and this damn civil war, people in the Empire have been scared. There have been riots in the Imperial City because of what you people did to the Empire. My brother died in one of those riots. You... I'll kill you. Hmm. I am sorry about your brother, truly. But if you just calm down... No! Hmm. This dagger 
is not working. <laughs> That's too bad. All right, well, one thing I've learned, Captain, you're not going to be able to come with me you, on these recruiting missions. You're too violent. Hmm? All right, Agnar is dead. This was a possible recruit. Can I help you? I'm not sure. You have displeased me. You, All right, what does he have on his person? Hmm. All right, Captain. Hmm? I'm going to have to figure out what I need to do with you. What can I do for you, friend? 